everyone, this is Captain Briggins from my737sim.com. Uh, I've got the uh, simulator uh, partially fired up here uh, because uh, for a while now I've uh, been trying to find a way to get a instructor station into the cockpit uh, for a couple reasons. Number one, if I just want to test a scenario over and over, um, or two, if someone's over and they're in the captain's chair and I want to sit in the co-pilot seat and throw a failure at them, uh, it would be easy to do. Without having a laptop and a power supply or, you know, any sort of big computer uh, 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 issue uh, in, the, in the simulator and uh, while uh, driving uh, home today I had uh, a brainstorm I've got an iPad and I've got an app for it called Air Display which lets me use the iPad as an external screen over Wi-Fi um, I run it on my Mac because it's easier to run on the Mac than it is Windows in my opinion um, and on my Mac I've got Parallels which runs Windows 7 and I can run it in different modes and right now I run it in Crystal mode and uh, lo and behold, I have my instructor station running on my iPad in the simulator. So right now, as you can see, it is uh, not connected. So I can say connect. It's now connected to Flight Simulator. I'm currently sitting at the gate and I'm at uh, Los Angeles International. So you can see all of my FSX information there and uh, all the software, the Project Magenta versions. I don't have the uh, CD running, I don't have uh, PM sounds or anything running, so like I said, the sim's just kind of partially fired up, but uh, it's showing me frame rates. I've got a little virtual sc uh, screen keyboard there. So uh, let's see, I can go position, and let's just do a pushback face to the right. Again, the iPads on Wi-Fi, so it is completely and 100 percent portable within the simulator. So you can see I'm pushing back there. Okay, let's uh, stop the pushback, push back off, and I'm not moving anymore. That is so awesome. I can do all kinds of things at my fingertips. Quick starts for PM system. Uh, positioning. What's the environment like? I can auto set weather right away. Fuel in the load. Performance information. <clears throat> I can start recording with the data logger and send that out to Google Earth for a uh, um, you know uh, recorded flight information. Fail failures. Let's let's try a failure. Let's let's go general and let's see let's turn the failure mode on and uh, let's see let's just do something simple here so fuel tanks so left fuel tank fuel tank one 8200 approximately so let's go and let's create a leak in the left tank okay and as you can see it's going way down okay Let's see, let's do um, PM systems. No, let's do panel failures. Okay, let's uh, fail the captain's PFD. Goodbye. Okay. I mean, this is incredible. Uh, let's see, let's go back to views and slew. Okay, we could, of course, do all kinds of things there. Let's go back to position and let's do runway. Okay, let's bring our virtual screen keyboard over here. Okay, and let's just go K L A X. Okay, so we got K L A X right there. Let's do 15 nautical miles out. Hit OK on the iPad. Set position. Okay, and there we are. 15 nautical miles out. And what's also nice is it pauses the sim. So I don't have to throw the iPad around and, uh, you know, uh, toss it on a chair and put my hand, you know, get my hands on the, on the flight controls right away. Set it down at my leisure when I'm ready to go. I can then unpause the sim. And of course now I'll begin falling but that's okay. 
boy, if you can only do that in real life. Um, so, I mean, everything. I can say, oh, let's turn the batteries off. Okay. Oh, lost all the batteries. And the battery's back on. Oh, batteries are back on. And of course I just crashed. But that's okay. So, I have now my entire instructor station software at my fingertips in the simulator. And I can pretty much do anything I want with it. So, just wanted to share that with you. iPad, Air Display, it will run on Windows, so if you want to just run it straight on Windows, you can. Instructor Station Software, do a search for it on the website, my737sim.com. Thanks for watching. This is uh, Captain Riggins, Blue Skies.